I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, I am working on another little few pages in the November Play 2021 um, that will run through the 1st of November through the 30th. So we're already into November. And um, of course, I have everything that you need in the description box. Uh, all the links to Gail's uh, YouTube channel, Rhonda's YouTube channel, and Jean's YouTube channel. And uh, anyway, and your prompt words are in the description box as well as some possible ideas for you to play on uh, as you go through the November play. So anyway, I hope everybody is getting in on it. You can get your December journal ready uh, before December gets here. And this is just a fun way to do it. So anyway, today... I have decided I am going to be working on the baking or cooking. Um, I'm just going to cross them both off. Uh, baking and cooking is what I'm working on. So that is going to be my word prompt for this one. Now I did get a lot of it ready uh, to go so I didn't have to spend a lot of time doing that and I think I am going to work on um, filling one of the glassing bags and kind of decorating a couple of pages here. So I chose some fun um, little pieces here. Uh, this I went ahead and made a little booklet that is going to go, uh, hmm, I think I'm going to straddle that on the page actually. And then this is going to go on my glassine bag, I do believe. Then I have some of these really pretty papers that I am going to be using here. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I actually got these. Uh, this is a kit on uh, uh, journal, journal boats or journaling boat. I'd have to look. I can't remember. I think it's journal boat. And uh, anyway, that's where I got that. And then I got some little fun recipes that I just copied off of. Well, this came in actually another kit of hers to, uh, is what that did. And uh, anyway, what I did is I just crinkled the paper up and then I distressed it real good on the, uh, you just kind of crinkle your paper and then take your, your uh, little, uh, Okay, this thing, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but anyway, I just kind of wrinkle the paper up and then I just kind of swipe it with that. And what it does is it gets those creases and it just puts that little aged crack in your paper for you. So, uh, pretty simple there. And then what I have done is I've actually made an envelope. This is out, it's almost like a lunch bag paper. I bought it on a... Um, a big roll that was actually on one of those big cutters and uh, so it's vintage but I just it's like a brown paper bag real thick paper so what I did was I went ahead and got my envelope together and that is what my recipes are going in let's make sure we got them all straight here yep that's what my recipes are going to go in right there but I'm going to decorate the bag a little bit with this other paper. What I'm going to do is I've already got my paper cut and I'm going to be gluing this on and I don't think I got that cut quite. I probably cut that before I stitched my uh, before I stitched my uh, papers there but I don't want it in the stitching so let's let's cut it down by about a fourth of an inch. All right, and that just takes a little bit off of there that I don't need. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that under that lip a little bit. Well, I hope you all are having fun with the November play, and I hope that you're able to do it. Uh, it just brings a little, a little fun. I'm gonna flip that. Uh, just a little bit of fun in the month when you're when you've got a project you can work on and you've got a you know a project you're kind of geared towards. So 
All right, so there is that. And then I need my little piece here. And I want to make sure that my wording, if I have wording, it's going the right way. Okay, some of it's got a little bit of script writing in that paper. and I don't want that upside down. And I kind of want it to match where my other paper's kind of at, so it looks like a kind of a continuance there. Okay, there's that. And then let's put the back piece on. Yep. Okay, so there is my, my envelope. Okay. All right, so we're just going to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and slip these slip these recipes in here and I'll probably get a paper clip or something to clip those clip those together with. And um, I may put something on here as well. But for now, that's that's how it's going to go. All right. So, even in my other pages, I may end up adding just a little bit more to them. Um, like my tree. This was the tree that I did the very first uh, page. And so then I added some words to it. Now I still have to find a star. And as soon as I find one to fussy cut, I am going to put some kind of star or topper here on the tree. So, so I did kind of add a little bit there. This, I want to just, I think I just want to keep it on the bag plane as well. Whenever you cut your glassine bags, a lot of times I uh, forget to pull that little strip out. That'll come out. So let's uh, get this open. And that will fall in here. And I think I'm going to leave that just like that on that bag so you can kind of see through. I don't think I'm going to put... I could almost tip this around the other way. And that will almost give it a background if I did that completely. Hmm. It'll be something like that. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to put that directly on there. So, so we're going to, okay, let's get that on there. And let's get this in here. Okay, so that's kind of where that's going to go, just like that. Okay, and then this is what I wanted to drape on this page. And I didn't get my jar of uh, goodies over here. And I did decorate the back a little bit because I'm taking the center of it and I'm actually going to drape it on this. That's kind of what I want to do is drape it on that page right there. And I thought about taking this little collage I've made. I just made this little collage with some of the big, uh, some of the paper there. This is one of those little Tim Holtz uh, like Christmas boxes he has. I tore an edge off of that. And then, of course, out of the little girl, she is baking something. <laughs> so she is stirring the batter. But what I thought about doing was taking this and putting it on the page and have her kind of just peeking out like that. So I think I like that. I like the way that looks. And so I'm going to, I think I'm just what I'm going to do there. So let's get this. Now I did use a paper doily there. All right. And this is just going to go right here. Okay. Okay, so I want her to be dry, though, before we put that book on there. So I'm going to go ahead and let's grab a little 
Oops, I want to clip them together in here. So let's do that. Okay. I'll get this lid back in the bag. Let me go ahead and put a clip on there somewhere too, just to hold that down. Alright. I love that. That's a really cute image. Let's let her dry a minute. And I'm going to go see if I can find some ribbon while I'm waiting for this to dry. And we'll slide that book on there. And um, those will be our pages. Okay, so I have some of this uh, fun checkered red. Or I just have some sheer red. And I think I'm going to use the checkered red. So let's find the middle of that. And I think this is dry enough to put that on there. We're just going to let that little girl peek out of the page. Okay, and we'll get this ribbon put in here. And get it tied on. And I like to just tie the bow straight without a knot. I just think it does better, just does a better, it just looks better to me than having that little knot there. And it holds just as well, so... There is our little ribbon, which I love. Trim it just a little bit shorter. That is just adorable. I love that. So there is our little girl peeking out. And our book. And let's see here. I may, what I may do is go ahead and pop up. Hmm, I may use this sheer ribbon on this. We may put a ribbon on this one as well. Let's see if I can dig me out another big staple, or staple, paper clip here. Okay, and I always like to, if I'm going to do two ribbons, I usually like to stagger them a little bit. So I'll put one kind of up. And then when I put... Um, let me get that fixed. Okay, so if I get one up here, then I want my next ribbon to kind of go down. Where it's staggered just a little bit from the other one. Instead of having them kind of both in the same place when you close the book. Okay, and let's just tie our little sheer ribbon here. All right, and just get that put in here in the bag. There we are. Oh, I love the red. Okay, so when I shut the book, then see this is what I mean by kind of staggering your ribbon so that you don't have you know, your ribbons just right with each other. They're kind of staggered in the book. So if I add more ribbon, I'll kind of put them in, you know, other little places there. So anyway, guys, this is another uh, word prompt page, and I like it. And so anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.